The Driftless Humane Society held their first ever kickball for the Furbies event at the Viroqua Park Bowl on Sunday to raise some money, also to bring together several emergency service agencies so they can build relationships outside of emergency situations. The two kickball games featured staff and volunteers from the Humane Society, but also from the Baroque Police Department, the Baroque Fire Department, and the Vernon County Sheriff's Office. Emily Roseski is the executive director of the Humane Society. She said they work very closely with all the agencies, but the event brings all of those people together in a social setting that allows them to get to know each other outside of work. Roseski said the idea came from the fire department and grew from there with lots of people jumping on board. Oh, brainstorm of, I would really give a lot of the credit to the Viroqua Fire Department. Daisy, the administrative assistant, was phenomenal in putting a lot of the details together. But it took Vernon County Sheriff's Department, Viroqua PD, Viroqua Parks and Rec, and then us at Driftless Humane Society to put this together. And it's just a fun little showdown between the different groups and in community and a good time. Roseski said the event was also a fundraiser for the Humane Society. They're hoping to raise about $17,000 for some specific needs that the organization has. Ray, hopefully raise a little bit of money, take some donations. Yes, we've, we've got a spring fundraiser we're working on. Um, our building is about 20 years old, so it has some repairs we need to do. Um, we also would like to do some enrichment um, with some music therapy and some aromatherapy, so bringing in some sounds and smells for our animals. Um, and then also to make some neonatal kitten kits, they're called. Um, so we kind of package everything together. So if a community member finds an orphan kitten, we'll have them available for them to just be able to help them survive, um, give them everything they need for that. So we're hoping to raise $17,000. Um, for our spring kind of early summer fundraiser. Roseski said the event is also a way to strengthen relationships they already have with the agencies at the event. And we work with the stray animals. We work really closely with law enforcement. So we have a good relationship with everyone here and in a small community that, you know, they're friends and neighbors and that's why we're here. So. And Roseski said anyone can give a monetary donation, but there are other ways to help the Humane Society if you're not able to give money uh, absolutely come and volunteer. We've had some volunteers here working events, but coming to um, socialize and work with our animals. Um, we always have tasks that people can do, donate, uh, foster animals. So again, just like we were mentioning those orphan kittens, there's also just dogs that would do better and cats in, in home. So temporarily foster animals. And Roseski said the Humane Society is always in need of supplies. If you don't want to give money, or your time. Absolutely. We, we always are looking for dog food and cat food, especially dry. Um, at this time of year, wet kitten food um, is also what we're looking for. We use um, pine litter bedding, um, towels, even old towels or blankets. If you have them laying around, we take those as well. Um, or even um, a lot of animal supplies. So if you have an animal, you know, no longer have an animal and you don't need leashes, collars, beds, we take those as well. So. By the way, the outcome of those two kickball games that they played on Sunday, Driftless Humane Society defeated the Vernon County Sheriff's Office 21-11. to Viroqua Fire Department defeated the Viroqua Police Department by a score of 14-8. to